Hey, man, we got one of them ones. You got to see by the knife, bro. You see by the knife. We got the Rambo guy in today because we got some heat inside of here. And I can just imagine, bro. I can just imagine these releasing about, about three, four years ago. This would have been impossible for me to have right here in hand, especially for retail. We got to break it down, talk about it, and see what's going on with some of these latest releases. Let's get right into it, man. And my bad, y'all did not mean to point the knife at y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and put this up real quick before we get into the box. But real quick, man, what's going on, everybody? Thank you guys so much for tapping in to another one. We got one of them videos, you know, where, of course, we unbox some of our latest pickups. Uh, you guys can go ahead and comment down below what are some of your latest pickups. But this one right here in particular, I definitely feel like should get a little bit more credit, a little bit more respect when it comes to Jordan and what they've been dropping lately. Because this year, honestly, been a little weak. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. This kind of been probably one of the weakest ones in a while. I thought last year was pretty bad, but I feel like this year was pretty bad because all the releases that pretty much people want were all spaced out. And they added some filler sneakers in there. So you guys can let me know, like I said, what you've been grabbing lately. And let me know what you're anticipating on grabbing with the Air Jordan 1 uh, Black Toes getting pushed back. We got them right here. These Black Toe guys got pushed back to 2025. And I think it's like early, like January or February 1 to 2. So not none too drastic. But this is a release that we will not see this year. Uh, and all we got left is the Black Cement 3s. Um, and the Legend Blue 11s, Fear 4s. I might be missing onesies and twosies, man. So, with all that out the way, man, if you guys are new here to the channel, right now we need everybody to do, man, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for your boy, and please leave a huge like. If you don't do nothing else, man, hit that like button for your boy, The Vintage. That'd be greatly appreciated. This shows YouTube. You guys ain't that mad at me, you know what I'm saying, taking these breaks, because, you know, I ain't gonna force no constantly. I gotta keep it organic, keep it real, keep it true, and that's when we gonna come and drop some videos for y'all, man. And man, y'all should have seen my last video's comments. They mad at me for saying that, you know, Nike see the downfall of Travis Scott and Jordan Warren's kind of falling off because they dropping too many colorways. People did not understand where I was going with that. I didn't say that they're dead. I said that they see the trend. They see that it's declining. You cannot ride on somebody wave so long before something start dying out. That is my opinion. I think we're definitely gonna start seeing, you know, when we do get to that point where all the Travis Scott Jordan ones are dead, not saying they're dead right now, they're gonna start retroing like the mochas. That's why I ain't paying. $2,000 for the Mocha Travis Scott because I definitely feel like Nike is going to rely on that in the future. Not saying it's going to happen anytime soon, but I definitely think, you know, kind of how Adidas did with Yeezy, they brought back some of them, you know, crazy classic colorways. Then the same is going to happen for Travis Scott and Jordan. We're going to see. We'll see if that comes to fruition. But oh, nonetheless, bro, they dropped a lot of colorways with Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. I think it's kind of getting repetitive. I think they're kind of, you know, watering it down. That's just my take. I ain't saying they did. I think they dope. But hey, they dropping too many colorways. I know they hey, they was mad at me in the last video. I said, yo, hold on. Let me take a let me take a pause real quick. I ain't gonna respond to no more comments because people, I'm telling you, bro, were going at me for saying that the Travis Scott hype was dying. I ain't say it was dead. I said it was dying. And they was mad at your boy, the Ventures. But nonetheless, man, the topic of today's video, these guys in here, I don't know what happened. I don't know where the, the momentum, the, the mood shift, I don't know what happened with these, but this is a dope Air Jordan, and you guys gonna know exactly what it is. Once I open the box and show y'all, and without further ado, bro, since I talked y'all head off for about five minutes already, we have these guys right here. Y'all should know what it is, man. Y'all should know what these guys is with the little folding box right here, but the official colorway reads, Women's Air Drone 4 Retro OGSP Fossil Stone and Metallic Pewter. Pewter? Pewter? I don't know how to say that, but you guys see it, man. We did get a size nine and a half, man. We got these things in. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's see what we got. Y'all see the I'm on my year logo up there, bro. One of them ones I had to have, man. And yes, sir, just like the threes, kind of got this nice presentation. And we gonna hit... Oh, they smell good. They smelling good, bro. Let's go ahead and pop these out, bro. Let's check it out. And yes, sir. Hold on. People was hating on these. Finally seen them in hand. I seen videos and pictures. But, bro, these is pressure, bro. I am not going to hold y'all. Like, I remember seeing this Jordan 4 colorway. I think it was about two years ago or a year and a half. When we first started seeing those initial images of these Air Jordan 4s. 
and we was like, yo, it ain't happening. First, we didn't think the, the violet aura color was coming out, and then they dropped this light aura, I don't know what they call this colorway, pewter, whatever it is. I was like, man, this is the best one out of the two, in my opinion. I've seen some people even talking about it in the comment section saying that these is better than threes. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know, but there's a lot of people that still do not have a pair of the original threes that dropped from Amama Year and Jordan brand. But look at these, man. These is cold, bro. Just imagine these releasing at the height or the start of the whole Amama Year and Jordan drop. Say they dropped these before the threes. I'm telling you right now, people will be saying that this is the best one out of all of them. I'm not saying out of hype. I'm not saying just because I got the sneaker. I got the fives. I got the threes. Um, I had the ones that had the twos end up selling them eventually. But they're going for the low right now. So if I want to add them back, definitely could. But I wasn't wearing them. So I sold them. But this one by far could debatably, debatably. I ain't going to say it's a fact. I ain't going to say y'all saying this. But I definitely seen some people saying that this is the best out of the entire I'm on Mirror collection. But again, it's gonna be a lot of bias towards the threes because one, they're reselling for a lot of money and it was the first one to drop from Jordan Brand and I'm on Mirror. And I feel like the, the story and the, the storytelling in the background of that three was a little bit better than these. I think this was like themed after the before you were sleeping or while you were sleeping or something like that. Don't even know the official name. I just seen the colorway and I said, bro, I got to have them. Nike Air on the back of them guys, y'all see it? And then I'm on my ear logo on the tongue here and a nice little, you know, emblem Jordan on the tongue, bro. This is, these is nice. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I ain't trying to hype them up or anything like that. Just give you guys my raw reaction. I try to do that all the time when I'm unboxing sneakers, early sneakers, things I picked up, you know, grails and stuff like that. But I really, really like these. They come with two extra sets of laces. Let me go ahead and pop these out real quick. I know y'all have seen these a hundred times, but now this is my chance to kind of break them down and check them out with you guys. So you got white laces right here, and then you have another set of sale laces. I've seen a lot of people already rocking with the sales, and I said, hey, the things is looking hard with the sale laces. Probably had to take these out and put them in. But let me know in the comment section, man. Right now, in the comment section, if you do have a pair of these, and I know some people are still waiting on their shipment from my mama year. Literally these joints right here showed up at the doorstep when I got off work. And I said, hey man, finally they're here because I didn't get no tracking, I didn't get no emails, I didn't get nothing when it came to this purchase at what, these are about two weeks ago now, right? Or a week and a half? It's been some time, bro. But the quality, man, nonetheless, definitely, you know what I'm saying, it makes up for the delay of me getting uh, these joints, you know what I'm saying? It makes up for the, the delayed shipping, if I might say. But you guys, like I said, let me know if you got these in the comment section. I'm looking for the threes. I know, oh, here they go right here. Let me grab them real quick. Throw these foes out the way. Oh! Breaking stuff. Go ahead and pop the threes out real quick. You know what I'm saying? We got the threes. I'm not gonna go all the way in the other room and grab the fives, but you guys know I got the fives, I got the twelves. Only ones I don't have is the ones, twos, the original threes, and uh, that's about it, bro. I got everything else. So you guys can see, man. Check them out. These dropped about two months ago, if I'm, I might say, and the shipping on these was really, really fast. The quality is crazy. Um, I feel like this quality is going to turn out to be better than the upcoming Black Cement threes. And of course, we just got these joints right here, man. Super tough. I'm loving them. Definitely loving them. Um, quality colorway. And you can rock these. It ain't hard to wear these, you know what I'm saying? So I think they definitely did a great job of executing these Alma Mir Airs and the 4s we just got. So again, man, let me know down below in the comment section if you secure them, guys. I don't think we have any other Alma Mirrors for a while, if I'm not mistaken. But you never know. It might up and say, hey, we getting uh, Alma Mir Air Jordan 6. Yeah, you just never know, man. But make sure you guys leave a huge like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that we drop, videos, shorts, lives, none of that. Make sure you don't miss it by hitting the notification bell. I love y'all. Thanks so much for tapping in. All that's being said, man, your boy, The Vintage. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.